Hello Metalheads, welcome back to the channel. So great rally with the Musketeers last weekend uh, and running the coil of the Legend on the version 1.10 software uh, got me to thinking uh, of the various uh, tones that are sort of slightly different now that I find from the original version of the software and what I want to do is not by any means a scientific um, exercise, it's more or less just a rough guide to what I'm getting on the Legend with the version 110 software with the various tweaks and settings that I have inputted into it. Everybody's, everybody's settings will probably be different to suit their own personal tastes. Um, like for example I was getting on like of big copper coins I was getting high 40s and full, full non-furrow bars in the furrow checker etc. Uh, that's changed slightly. Um, uh, I'll show you what I mean. I'll give you a few examples of various coins, what I'm getting now and what I'm looking out for. As I say, it's not a scientific test by any means. For the simple reason it's going to be on the surface. It's just a rough idea. Bear in mind that the coins will be buried. Soil conditions will vary from site to site. Uh, relative humidity, temperature of the soil, the structure of the soil, everything will be different. If it's going to be trashy sort of a site, if it's going to be uh, highly mineralized, etc, etc. But this is just a, a rough, a very rough, non-scientific non idea of what the coil is telling the, uh, the legend uh, itself with uh, the usual sort of things, buttons, coins, silvers, coppers and gold. Okay, so we'll have a look at that. Cool as a witch's tit. Okay, first up, a heavily patinaed George the Fifth Penny. Set that there, and then we'll rub, run the. Uh, so So I'm about to say I'm actually in multi three, um, not stopped till level up to eleven in field mode. So forty two, and you can see that the furrow checker on the bottom full bars throughout, which indicate that it's not iron. Okay, next one. Next up is a lead pewter or lead. Tobacco lid tin. I love finding these great social history. Pop that down. Again, same conditions. So 32, 34 seems to be 34, 35. Full, full bars to the right, non furrow. Next up is an aluminium or aluminium bottle cap in same conditions it's telling me that's unfortunately that is a digging signal full furrow check bars to the right it's non furrow that comes in as a nice diggable signal. Okay, next up is a bit of can slow. If any of you is offended. Tough. So a 40. Unfortunately that is still a diggable signal. Next one. Next one's a nice big brass horse buckle. Fifty-three, fifty-four. So that gives you an idea. With the uh, high numbers there, you know it's going to be something big and brassy. Next one. It's one of my favourite 
one of my favourite social history finds. Nice lead musket ball. Set it down. Again, same settings. Thirty-eight non-iron. Thirty-four, thirty-eight. You're going to dig that. Same sort of territory, except small white lead pistol shot. <laughs> yep. Twenty-nine for the bars to the right. You're going to dig it. Everybody's favourite, the old veterinary medicine, commonly known as the Moo Tube. Nice brass top on it. These give great signals. For this particular one, I get a 33, and that's telling me to dig it. Unfortunately, love finding these. Big lump of iron, like a small axe head, or see there's a little socket there, so. Let's get that to focus in, there we go. You notice the bars to the left at the bottom? That's telling me it's a big pile of shite. Not to leave it alone, but if you if you leave these signals alone, I mean, that could just as easily have been a Viking, a Bronze Age axe head. Well, maybe not bronze, obviously, but Iron Age, historical axe, or a horseshoe. But if you're not into hunting for that, that's the one to ignore. But it was given big iron signals, big low tones. Good. Next, a small Hibernian. Hip now. Foot bars to the right. A nice 29. Diggable. Nice little spectacle bottle. Which you do want to find. And are you going to dig it? Certainly you're going to dig that. And you'll be glad that you did. Actually, a little, whoops, little pattern on that one. Maybe a little purse, come off a little purse. Nice. So, next up is a, another small silver George V Thrippens. Obviously, you want to find this. You want to dig that. So next one, most definitely, you do not want to miss out on. A little Eddie Silver Hammered Penny. Now, 28, full bars to the right. Bear in mind the wee, uh, the last wee one, the wee Thrippins, was way up 46, 47. I'm thinking there's probably more silver in this little hammer. You want to dig this one? Another nice one that you do not want to miss. And the reason I'm doing this little comparison video is because I would have missed this at the Musketeers. Because it was a signal I was not going to dig. Little Henry half cut silver hammer. Twenty-four. Now, bear in mind, being in the ground, uh, in the field, I was getting uh, it was 20, 20, 21, I was getting trashy sort of a signal. I was getting no furrow check at the bottom. I'm not getting one now, mind you. Oh, there we go. So it was. It's coming and going. So I probably would have walked past that. 
Uh, Craig's funny enough was on to it immediately. So now I know that I'm getting if I'm getting 24s, 25s, with or without a full bar to the right, full bars to the right. I'm digging it. Because that's how stuff is missed. Right, next one. Next one is an extremely small chart of the first hammered tar penny, not tar mint. Very small. It was my first hammered coin. Twenty-seven full furrow. Correction. Full non-furrow, in other words, the bars are to the right. So you want to dig that. So sort of early 20s up to 30 with those tones you're digging. So the next one's a nice big Queen Victoria half crown that I got at the Musketeers. Came out shiny and it's still shiny. Unbelievable. So you don't want to miss this. But look at the signal that, that is giving me. That's a signal now, in the earlier software, I would have put down to Cant's Law, MooTube, and CAC basically. And depending on how sore my back was, probably would have left it. So now I know, 54 high tones. You don't want to miss this girl here. What a beauty. Next. So you definitely, Definitely do not want to miss this. Queen Victoria Half Sovereign Gold. Let's have a wee look to see. Twenty nine to thirty full bars to right, you're digging it. You do not want to miss this butte. And on the last software, I had left that. Because on the earlier version of the software, I was getting for gold trashy signals, the sort of mineralized cook signals, 15, 16. I wonder how many of these have walked past, which I am now. Systematically covering again. <laughs> so not a, a scientific test by any stretch of the imagination, but it just gives a rough, very broad brushstroke, rough idea of what sort of numbers you'll get for each type of coin that you're likely to come across. Uh, bear in mind that uh, on the earlier version, the first version of software I've been using on the uh, Legend, uh, the Knock the Legend. The numbers I was getting are slightly different from that tweak with the latest update of 1.10. Haven't updated to 1.11 yet, just wait to see all the, the bugs ironed out before I download that one. But yeah, it's supposed to, supposed to be good, but we'll see how that goes. So it's a learning curve. I'm actually just learning the tweak and fiddle about with the new settings. So the moral of the story, judging by that rough guide, basically dig everything that's sort of in the ballpark. I mean, you were getting high 50s there for that big Queen Vicky half crown. Whereas I would have originally thought that would have been trash and would have left it, you know, so. And then the lower end, the, the 20, from 20 up to say 29, if I wasn't getting full, uh, full, full bars to the right, i.e. non-furrow, I would have just left it. But now I'm going to be digging it. And uh, you certainly don't want to be missing out in gold. I have had gold signals, according to that, on the other firmware, if you can follow that, and missed it. So I'm actually doing a very uh, systematic research of the area around there with those dodgy signals that I would have traditionally missed. It's basically like getting a new machine, which is good. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, might help someday. Well, if you're a Nocta Legend user, it might be of some, some use. Uh, let me know in the comments if um, you're getting any way close or near to that there uh, in the numbers and the ID, uh, number ID side of the, <coughs> your screen. So, great 
rally last weekend and there's another one coming up uh, towards the end of this month again so looking forward to that a uh, big shout out and thank you to musketeers for organizing it the uh, jimmy hockey uh, marcus maximus <laughs> uh, terry and john i uh, must appreciate it. it's always a good laugh it's always good fun to meet up with uh, the usual suspects and the new members uh, it's always welcome uh, if you do want to be included i just vlog away i don't like getting in anybody's face you know but uh, and i don't like showing anybody on video if they're not happy to be on video uh, but if you do want to at least have your fines just record it on a wee video come over to me with your fines uh, if you can be bothered if i can even bother record it's a it's an awful hoo-ha trying to record and to detect at the same time but you always regret it if you don't because <laughs> you never know what you find so anyway thanks very much for watching happy hunting and i'll see you on the next all the best bye bye hello glampers and campers welcome back wrong channel Fuck's sake.